For Williamson County, this is Week in Review. We are here doing a book tasting at Fairview Middle School. My name is Isaiah, and I'm learning that. Uh, what we are currently doing is the first exercise on the computer, I believe it's called Brush Practice 1, just to get a familiarity with the program Adobe Illustrator here. I go to one set of country and third grade just learn sign language in the cafeteria. In science class, we made edible cell cookies. We made a nucleus and nucleolus, a vacuole, a Golgi complex, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and rough endoplasmic reticulum. And after we created it, we ate it. We have this thing called Coffee House. That coffee House is a creative outlet for students to perform and, you know, show off their own creations. In science, we are learning about the animal and plant cell, and we are supposed to show off what we made. I made an animal cell out of pizza. Thank you, Dr. Looney. Second grade has new Chromebooks this year. We are learning how to log in. We use this technology to practice our reading skills. We're building a penny bridge with four textbooks and uh, one sheet of paper. And it seems very hard, but we're trying to figure out a prototype and how we can make it work. We were invited to the Tennessee Bandmasters Hall of Fame concert, and so um, only two bands in the entire state of Tennessee get to perform there. And so um, to be chosen as one of the bands, like based on skill to be there, is just like one of the biggest honors you can receive. I'm McKaylee Taylor, and I go to Nolensville Elementary School, and in music today, we play it in a drum circle. We are part of a really great new club called Project Lit. Right now we are reading a book called Towers Following. It's um, different stories about people who's either lost family members in 9-11 and other stories. We're practicing to spine board a patient in case of an athlete getting hurt while um, playing a sport. We're at computer for specials. We're using B-Bots to... Mm, computer programmers? Yes! In kindergarten? Yes! Today in Mr. Modulum's class, we're trying to figure out what different substances are by putting them in water and seeing if they change it by its color or by how it feels. So we are in Coach Putnam's statistics class, and we are right now counting how many Cheerios and Fruit Loops each handful we can get out of the class. In third grade today, we're learning about rocks. We're learning about the different types of rocks. We have been studying literary devices that we will present in front of the class on a poster. We have been on a secret mission to find out what each device means and how authors use them. We're in fourth period geometry and we're introducing transformations with the cha-cha slide. For example, when we move to the left, we're doing translations. Cha -cha, real Turn it up. Today in fourth grade, in Ms. Davis's class, we completed a lockbox challenge. We solved equations about the water cycle. We made sentence bodies. A sentence body can help you remember how to write a proper sentence. So today we are exploring this representation of a cell inside of our everyday objects that we are using to represent the cell's organelles. Overall, we're just learning about the functions of the cell and how it keeps life going. Abraham Lincoln! Our teachers acted as four presidents. We learned like fun facts about them and it was really funny. Uh, we are in EMS and today we are spine boarding. So when victims are in a, like a car accident, for example, they might have a spine injury and you have to put them on the board so that they don't get paralyzed. We did a play in my class and I was the grass and the trees and it was awesome and it was based on the water cycle. We're running for this down here. We're giving speeches. The incubator has a part in it where it turns and it warms the eggs. The eggs have to be warm enough, not too hot or not too cold to be able to grow. In science today we are studying energy and we decided to go roller coasters. This is honors uh, U.S. history and we're focusing on the period after the Civil War and the rise of the cities and population and immigration. We are in kindergarten. We looked all around the building for Pete the cat. This tan's letting us keep Pete the cat home. Today at Hunter's Bend is our first Friday morning meeting. Right now we are in our literacy time and we take down notes about this book and later we will talk about all of the notes that we took down in our small groups. Get set, go. We're having a screw round tournament which is where we screw screws in the boards. I'm Dallas Tilton, I'm in third grade. 
and we're doing dot pictures and out. We are going to make condensation in the classroom by mixing four different substances together and then put the wrap over it and an ice cube on top and then we're just going to leave it for a few nights and then we're going to see what happens. In Visual Art 1, we are working on creating a rough draft of our travel poster that will eventually turn into our final draft next week. We're learning to add even and non numbers using a Dyson number line. We're doing a science experiment with paper towels. We're trying to see how many paper towels can hold the best, like number one, number two, and number three. In gym today, we played war. How you play it is you sit on the mat and people throw balls trying to knock your face out. We learned the scientific method today. We put Mentos inside of a Coke bottle. We learned that if you put Mentos inside a drink, it will explode. And don't do it on a rainy day. This has been Week in Review.